what, in, what additional information would you need or would you need to track in order to be able to get that data, include those arrests? Because each time we're talking about a subsequent arrest, you're talking about a subsequent victim of crime. Uh, so it, it certainly is relevant, clearly, to the discussion that we're having today. I, I would add that in the data file, we don't have a table in our report that's posted online, but in the data file, you are able to tell if a person being arraigned has pending charges. So it is, you can see if somebody is coming in on that seventh arraignment, if they, if they have a prior charge that's still pending. Would it be possible to provide the committees or committees uh, with that information? The, yeah, the, yes, the information is available online. We can certainly send links to it. it. It has the data file itself. It also has a data dictionary, which describes the variables that are included in the file, and then some of those detailed data nodes that try to explain the nuances of the information. And uh, time is running short, so I apologize for the rushed question. Uh, was there a reason why 2018 data wasn't reviewed or wasn't provided? There wasn't um, data from 2018 that was reported from, we, we didn't have a complete picture of 2018 data to be able to do that. We recreated with OCA as far back as we could, which was uh, calendar year 2019. Would you agree though that the 2019 data is somewhat skewed in that while the bail reform laws and discovery reform laws were passed on April 1st, judges began in the second part of that year uh, implementing portions of the bail law with the knowledge that it would be coming up uh, on January 1st of 2020. Um, I think it would always be better to have more data. And so if, if 2018 were available, it would definitely present you with the ability to do that comparison. I would say broadly, we do see changes in criminal justice practice before the policy effective date. That's true for this reform and others. Is it possible in your data to break down the first part of 2019 versus the second part of 2019 and provide that to, uh, to our committees? Yep, we, we have that data available and with the dates. Yep. Thank you.